supposed to be cloudy with a little bit of sun in the morning. Um, not too strong a wind, so it should be fine. And we'll check the wind speed before we fly just to make sure. It is quite an open sort of area, it can be very, very uh, gusty there, basically surrounded by sea. So we're all good to go, which is uh, awesome. Just got to finish the final bit of paperwork and, um, and then we'll be ready to go. First and foremost, the customer inquiry form, the lid golf course. And we've got a call sheet, this is for everyone that's uh, working within the flight team. A pre-site survey, once we're on the site we've got things that we need to be signing off. But we've also had a look here to see what kind of airspace we're in. Uh, we're in air traffic controlled space tomorrow. Um, the terrain's mainly flat, it's a, it's a golf course, not many trees. So this is the lid comes onto the call site, um, EGMD lid, and it shows you the runway and how you can enter and what flight path you need to take and at what altitude, that kind of thing. And then it gives you all your landing fees and uh, radio transmission settings and things like that. Well, basically, we're using this just today, just for this telephone number here. We need to have it all on a call sheet just in case it's needed in an emergency during the flight operation. Flies off anywhere. We and need to call him, him and tell him so he can divert aircraft. And the yeah. direction that it went in. Yeah. Yeah. We've, um, we've got the military contact if we need to be. That's the risk assessment. And here you've got all the emergency numbers for the police. police. Nick in golf the golf club. Police, right. Local police station. Local hospital. Right. Air traffic control. Okay. okay. Three three and a half knots. So, we're basically where that runway is, so you see there? So we're in an air traffic uh, control zone. Yeah. Two military danger zones there. Mm -hmm. We've got the power station there, wind it's farm there, the micro light site there, yeah. which operates in this kind of area here. So we've got Cold Harbour aerodrome there for that. Yeah. Um, and we've got a nature reserve just sort of around here. Right. So they're the dodgy areas. Okay. Yes. Battery number one. We have to uh, document all of the, uh, the, the battery usage. Uh, so we start off by marking what the residual use is after charging. And then we do a pre-flight charge. And then we log what the battery is when it lands from that flight. And we do that every time we take off. Also logging the times of well, take off and landing. So now we're going to go through a calibration process. So calibrate the compass. Residual power, 4338 milliamps now. Okay, we have golfers coming out onto the course to the right. I've set the flight altitude to 60 meters to return to home. Right, stand by, stand by. Now we're over town, punch message. I'm at um, Lid Golf Club. We've got a planned operation of flying some drones and doing some filming this morning. So this is me calling in to get clearance if possible. Okay, well, um, just have a quick look. Okay, um, well, we're, we've got all the information on this one. We've got no town out, so... Great. Um, yeah. All good to go. Okay, well, thank you very much. Good luck getting the footage. Thanks, Ben. I appreciate your time. Okay. Cheers. Thank you. Bye. How many satellites have you got? 
16 satellites. 16. Take off. We've got GPS position. Yeah. We've got clearance from air traffic. Yeah, yes. Start filming this end, so we're away from the geofence and we get as much done as we can before we head get towards it. Yes. So let's just nip up there and go around a bit and see what we can see. We're going to follow you. Good. Okay. See you in a bit then. Okay. All clear in the skies. Three four eight eight. Do we need to wait then? Shall I wait? Yeah, I'll just wait for them. I don't. Oh. I think they're, oh, they're, just they're still chipping onto the green, aren't they? Or they I think they're finishing up. They'll be coming here next, will they? I think so. Yeah, it's this whole three. So, should we wait for wait them to pass? Let's wait and see where they go. Hello, it's Ed doing the drone work on Lid Golf Course. Hello. Hello, I just see that the uh, air sea rescue helicopter's uh, in the air. Do we need to stay on the ground for the time being? They're just going on a local flight. Yeah, just having a bout on yeah. the Yeah. Coast Guard, you see.